Hey, how's it going everyone? My name's Alt This. Uh, as you can see in the title of this video, we're going to be doing a PvP guide, you know, tips and tricks, how to get better, how to practice, uh, stuff like that. So, uh, I don't really have anything to say before we get started, so uh, let's just, you know, start. Um, so, a lot of people have trouble with PvP in Rogue Lineage just because it's so unique and like barely any other game on Roblox or even just Steam games or whatnot, just any game in general. Uh, doesn't have the same PvP as Rogue. Like, yeah, some may be similar, but Rogue's pretty unique, in my opinion. Um, so, there's a lot of things that you gotta focus on. The tips in this video are gonna be focusing more on, you know, Super slash Ultra, um, but, you know, there's gonna be some stuff relating to uh, Freshies base, you know, whatever. Um, but anyway, if you haven't watched my base class, uh, which was just my first Rogue Lineage guide, you should go watch that right now. Um, that just shows you how to get started in the game. And then also I'm going to be making a super slash ultra guide after this video. I think after this video. Um, so yeah, you, you can watch that like after this and then watch this, I guess. Or just watch this, watch that, and then watch this again. Um, you know, kind of just doing a kind of weird order, but whatever. Alright, so the first actual tip I have is uh, you're going to want to practice in private servers. So... Once you actually get a class, even if it's just a base class or a super, you should go into a private server and just practice the class. Uh, you can find those if you go into the Rogue Lineage Discord, um, which will be linked in the description. Uh, go into private servers and there's going to be a huge list of private servers that people have posted. Just go through one of those, look for one that says like ultras only or whatever so that there's no ubers in it, because uh, that could be pretty annoying, but you're just going to want to go into one of those. Uh, whenever you get like a new base or super or ultra that you haven't used before, you're going to want to go into one of those and just, you know, fiddle around with the class. Just see how you play it, see what the moves do, what the cooldowns are, uh, fight other supers, ultras, whatever, whatever class you are. Even if you're a base, you can fight a super, a super, and ultra, stuff like that. Um, that'll just help you get better, you know, help you get used to fighting in general. It won't be the same, like, intensity as if you were fighting in an actual game, since you can just go and heal if you get knocked, but, you know, it's going to give you practice so that once you're actually in the game, you're going to do a lot better. Now, my second tip is learn what your abilities do and their cooldown times. Now, I kind of talked about this in the last tip, but this is essential to any class that you go. Uh, all the abilities are going to be much different. A lot of the ultras have the same abilities from their super, um, but as an ultra, you're going to get a lot more. So when you're in the private server, you're just going to want to, you know, check what your abilities do. You can look it up on the wiki too. They also have uh, like strengths and weaknesses, which usually show tips on how to play the class. So you can go look at that. Um, you're going to want to learn the cooldown time so that uh, you aren't just stuck there clicking uh, randomly, hoping that any second your ability will be off cooldown. You got to learn the cooldown times so that when you're doing combos, uh, you know how long you have until you can use that move again. Now, my third tip is going to be learn how to time blocks. Now, this is extremely important to any class. Um, F spamming is a huge meta in the game. Uh, just spamming F to block, um, but you're, what's mo even more useful is timing the blocks. Now, if someone's gonna do like Owl Slash, or like a Shinobi is gonna do Owl Slash, or you know, someone's gonna M2 you, if you time the block perfectly, you can w do what's called a perfect block, and that basically just stuns the other person so that you can start hitting them. Um, and even past that, just blocking normal attacks. Uh, with your weapon so that you don't get chip damage and, and such. Uh, it, it really helps just if you know, like, you know, the attack speed of the other class, how long it takes you to block and whatnot. Now, my next tip is learn other classes' abilities, their ability speeds and cooldown times uh, to be able to counter them. Now, this is especially important, not just if you're going to be going those classes in the future, but if you're fighting those classes, you'll know what moves they have, how fast their moves are, and how long they'll be uh, they'll be without a move if they use it. Now, this is extremely important because you'll be able to counter any move that they do. Because let's say you're like there's a shinobi fighting you, and they use grapple and try to owl slash you, and you perfect it using the tip, the last tip. Now you start hitting them. You're gonna know exactly how long it is until they can grapple you and owl slash you again, um, instead of just being caught off guard and uh, getting Owl Slash, taking a ton of damage, 
panicking, uh, breaking down in the middle of a fight. So now my next tip, kind of uh, similar to the timing blocks, but if you're cornered, don't know what to do, one of the best things to just do is spam F so that you don't take any damage. I mean, most most uh, things won't give you damage, like heavy attacks will. But spam F, just hold F until you're blocking, and then try to roll out, and that'll that's that's one of the most common things that everyone does and it's really useful to get out of combos now another tip that I went over in my first uh, beginners guide is join a house as soon as you can so you can practice with people you know and gank with them now that's really important because if you go into a private server with them you know their like their classes who they are you're probably in a voice chat with them you can talk uh, it, it just it just gives more enjoyment to the game plus everyone gets to practice you get to practice with people you know so it just makes it all the more better and then you can also gank with them so like if you're in Gaia and you have an ultra you, they have ultras you guys can go gank together you get some actual experience ganking with a group instead of just soloing it all the time this one's kind of similar to another one I know I'm saying that a lot but uh, this one kind of is similar uh, learn class combos that's you can look those up on the wiki YouTube or you can even make your own Hitting randomly really won't do any damage, but trapping someone in a combo can do devastating damage to them. Especially if you're like a Deep Knight or a Shinobi or a Faceless, you know, anything like that. You can, If you lock them in a combo, they're going to take tons of damage, they're going to get knocked back, you can recover, block their stuff, and then just hit them in another combo. So don't just try to hit randomly with your sword or, and whatnot, because uh, that's really not going to do anything. That doesn't really apply to freshies or supers. Uh, or bases, I mean. Um, but you know, as you get ultras, uh, you're gonna need to learn combos. Now, leading off the last tip, uh, once you feel that you're skilled enough uh, to get out of the private servers and go ganking alone with your house, uh, do that. It's it provides a ton of experience, helps you and uh, you know know what to do for your next gank. Because every time you gank and every time you get ganked, you're gonna learn what you did wrong, what you did right. You're gonna you're gonna grow off of that and Especially if you go gank people, you're going to see how they play. So you're going to be able to see, you know, what they do to defend themselves, which you can use um, when you're getting ganked or even when you're ganking people. Um, so, you know, it's just, and it's just fun, too. You can see a lot of videos in, on YouTube. Uh, it's just a fun thing to do. Um, now, this one also leads off the last tip. If you get bored of your class or want to go a different one, no matter if you're a freshie, base, super, ultra, or whatever, always, and I mean always, wipe by ganking random people for real experience. If you just go, if, like you're a D-Sage and you get bored of the class because that's what happened to me, I just, instead of running into the fire and wiping, uh, just killing myself three times, I actually went out, found random ultras and just fought them out of nowhere just to get, you know, more experience fighting with an ultra, fighting in ultra, and just fighting in general. It, you know, it's and it's just... It, it may take longer than just jumping in the fire, but you're gonna get experience from it, and that's what this whole video is about, right? Now, my next tip is, while you're getting ganked, or you're ganking, really, just take a deep breath, calm down, and focus. Don't freak out and panic. That's just gonna get you killed. If you just, if you just, not stop, but you just look at what's happening, and you just think about your combos, you, you just, you know, you're chill, you know what you're doing, and you just you just fight them. You don't panic. You I mean your heart may be racing. Just calm down. It'll all be all right. Even if you even if you get knocked and they kill you, you probably still have other lives. If you don't, you got experience from this ultra. So your next ultra that you get, you're gonna be even better because you got three lives of experience. Now one of my last tips um, is a pretty cool thing that you can do with your house. Um, gank simulations. Now my house has done this a couple times, so. You just gotta have like one or a couple people walk around in the private server and everyone else uh, in the private server just jumps in at a random time and ganks to make it feel like a real fight like some you're just walking in Gaia and you just randomly get ganked by a bunch of ultras uh, it feels real uh, you'll get some actual practice um, and you guys can like pretend that it's actually uh, like a real fight where you grip them like uh, you grip them or you pretend like do the um, animation of gripping them and then just stop so that they're out uh, stuff like that it can provide a lot of experience uh, you get some practice staying calm knowing what to do your combos and you don't die if you uh, if you get knocked so now I, I kind of talked about this earlier too but uh, 
just read the wiki. You can read about the armor, you can read about the weapons, you can read about the classes, you can read about the races. Everything you need to know is on there. And that's, even if you look at the classes, that's gonna let you know what moves they have. You can kind of devise combos uh, before you actually have the ultra so that you're ready once you actually get it. You know, you can look at like the damage that weapons do. Um, you can look at racial abilities and how they tie into your combos. Like shoulder throw for Ashens is a really good uh, combo extender. You know, there's so many possibilities for combos, combat. It's honestly a really unique system. It's probably a really short video. Um, those are really all the tips I could come up with. Um, if I come up with more, I'll put them in the comments, I'll pin it. But uh, yeah, I have no idea how long this is. Probably really short. Uh, but you know, I hope these tips help you guys. I hope you guys take it into the actual game, practice them, get better at PvP. If you guys have any questions, you can just leave them in the comments. Um, I think I'm getting community posts soon, so you know I can make polls on there. For you know, if you guys have any questions, you can ask me on there. I'll also be like asking what type of videos I should do, if I should live stream, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's really all for this video. Um, again, if you have questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, if you have, you know, if you want, for whatever reason you want to contact me on Discord, my, uh, Discord tag is in my about page on the channel. Um, you can add me there. I'll probably accept your friend request, even if I don't know you, who you are, and we can talk. But, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, that's really all for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.